every student feels as though they have a place and a way to move forward. That maturity to have not only the ability to deliver in their classroom work, but to sit back and look at their life and where they're going and make some conscious decisions about how they're going to drive their life forward. We're strong on making sure that the students have confidence and strength in their academic learning and what that opens in terms of doors in life beyond school. My son Sam, who has been an integrated student all the way from kindergarten to year 12 at this school, he had an IO intellectual disability with both expressive and receptive language delay, along with autism. The school was marvellous, is a success story, it's a story that we should celebrate. We have the kindergarten classes walking through the school singing chemical equations. We have year five and six students doing woodwork, metalwork, textiles and food technology. We have a farm that the students in the infancy years visit. We've got an equestrian program and a marine program. I was the school captain here and was here from when the school first opened and did all of my school in here and when I'm about to enrol my daughter to start kindergarten next year as well which is a very incredible full circle. When a child knows the teacher knows them and has a level of care and connection with them, then the teacher is able to pitch the learning at where that child is at and therefore give the child opportunities for success and that can be built upon. One of the most powerful things about Evans River School is the relevance of the learning that happens, the engaging curriculum. We've gone to some lengths over a considerable period of time to modify curriculum, to run a strand of alternatives that students can take up that meet their particular needs. We had so much community support, the teachers and the preschool and the centre that he went to daycare all helped in that transition into kindergarten. We would plan for Sam's year by year progression through school. We would do that twice a year and that was hard but it was also an opportunity for me to be able to put my concerns on the table about his education. The Green Team's an interesting program that's been running at Evans River for a long, long time. It's got lots of different layers. The Green Team's a vehicle for boys to get out and do practical work around the school. And it's a vehicle for future vocations, for where kids want to go. So the Green Team starts off with some kids doing some basic work and the work gets more and more complex as the year goes on. And after the Green Team, these guys go into metals and engineering at TAFE. And there's a whole pathway that they follow. And a lot of these guys that do Green Team end up getting jobs and apprenticeships around the place. It was a SWAT program, which was originally written for the cafe about 10 years ago. It's all about capturing at-risk students who may potentially be wanting to drop out of school. And what we offer them is the opportunity to swap a day of school for a day of work so they're going to gain some work experience, some life experience, hopefully gain some confidence, different life skills and be a part of a really diverse and supportive workplace. One student, he actually went on to do a school-based traineeship and then his second year chef in apprenticeship with us. Our young people are transitioning either into further education or they're transitioning into work. So you have to know where to from here. We're looking for that kind of career pathway into university or into whatever pathway they want to go to. So if it's TAFE or if it's an apprenticeship or trade, it's just finding out more about that student. So we do that through personalised learning plans and getting to know exactly what they want and what their goals are. Our school sets us up pretty well for any sort of circumstance that you want to do. So if you want to pursue through an apprenticeship or through a traineeship, it makes it a lot easier. And if you wanted to stay right through to year 12 and get your ATAR and go to university, they can cater for that as well. In year 9 and year 10, if you choose to, you can go to TAFE. 
and you can do different courses at TAFE. There's metals and engineering courses, hairdressing courses, automotive courses, so there's heaps of different things that you can choose from to get different certificates to set you up for when you actually leave school. I attended this school so I have been through lots of different programs. I was built up to be a leader and to be confident. I had lots of opportunities to move on from the school, to be employed by the preschool. It was just a really good transition and to be able to work in my community here on my country with my mum and with my cousins as well and my preschool kids. I've learnt so much doing it too with language and culture. It makes me really proud. from preschool to kinder, and from year six into year seven, we have a small team of people, two or three people, who visit the preschools and also the partner primary schools. Our primary enrolments at Evans make up about one third of our high school enrolments, so we have quite a number of partner primary schools providing students. So in the six to eight months prior to them starting year seven, or prior to them starting in kinder, those students are well known to us through transition experiences, but also through a lot of dialogue that occurs between the teachers that work with them now, or eight to nine months before they come to us, and then settling them in. And that's the subject of a lot of dialogue before they start. We run a transition to school program for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children called the Cousins Program, setting the foundations for relationships between preschool and primary school. So when the, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children transition to school, they already have those connections. The mentors really step up. They take on those leadership roles and that sets them up and supports them in their schooling because they know that when they come down to the preschool, this is what's expected. It's something that they're really passionate about and they just love to mentor those younger kids. The Green Team helps students by learning new skills, being able to go on a good pathway to get a trade and meet new friends and people. It helped me by learning new skills and having good mates. First of all, Sam was in Green Team and then work experience. And from that, we managed to get him a council job. So that's where he still is now. He has a permanent part-time job there, three days a week. He's involved in the community, he's accepted and completely integrated into the community now. The students that graduate from this school really know what it is to be a good community member. They understand what it is to contribute to community and to build community and to be leaders in a community and also participants and givers in the community. They know the different roles because throughout their school life the school has had a lot of volunteer programs and connection with community, whether it's through community members being involved in programs or staff members who are also involved in those programs out of hours. So there's this really strong sense of connection with community for the students when they graduate the school. And we've seen many of our students over the years move into leadership roles in the community as a result. First and foremost, really knowing the children that attend the school, the students that attend the school, knowing their families, knowing their siblings, knowing their uncles and aunties and grandparents, and just having that really strong family connection. There's certain events that are keystones in community life. Most people play touch on Thursday afternoon, so the teachers are in teams with the kids. Obviously, we're a few hundred metres from the ocean, so surfing is a big sport here. The Green Team allows us to, not just the building of things, but to have those important conversations with boys that you can't do in a classroom. Those conversations that a lot of boys don't have anymore. Through building stuff, we're allowed to talk about those things that are sometimes a little bit hard to talk about in the playground, or they don't talk about to their mates, you know, how to treat people, what's the right thing to do. It's life skills as well as practical skills. It's just taking the time out and getting to know them. So just having that informal conversation with them, just out in the playground, throwing the football around, playing basketball, just trying to get actively involved in the community. Recently started a basketball competition here at school. Realised there was a demand basically to create a competition to get those students engaged, connect with them on a different level, instead of just in that school environment. Although we were at school, it was just a more relaxed atmosphere. You know, throwing the basketball around and just having a laugh. So yeah, I think that's really important within communities is that 
you kind of have those informal conversations and those chats with those kids and seeing how they're going. Diversity, I think, is the biggest word that springs to mind and I think that's one of the most positive things about Evans River is that there's not one person, there's not one type, but it actually is instilling this knowledge and acceptance that difference is okay and that difference can be celebrated and that you can actually step out into the world, wherever that may be for you, and be different and celebrate that. Sam still goes and visits his teachers. Whenever he sees them down the street, he'll go and say hello, buy them a cup of coffee, all of that sort of thing. He's a really social young man. For a child who started school with probably less than 20 words, we call him 20 questions now. It's so community-based, very supportive and diverse, and the encouragement and acceptance is offered to the broad range of students and staff. It's a really special thing to have in such a small community.